we're told that the perimeter of this shape is 60 and that we're asked for the area. Now, the first thing to see is because this is 18 and this is 6, that length there must be 18 minus 6. I'm just going part of the way. It's going to be 12. OK, um, that may or may not be useful, but it just kind of jumps out. So how do we want to find the area? Well, it's going to be the area of the whole thing. And then we could subtract this little square here. So I want to find this missing link, actually, don't I? And now we can use the area, uh, sorry, the perimeter fact. So um, we've got 18 times 2 is 36. And then I can do 60 minus 36 is 24. Um, and that's going to be the, the right-hand side and the left-hand side. 24 divided by 2 will just give me one of them, 12. So this is 12. And that length I was talking about, the whole thing is 12. So this is going to be 4. OK, so actually I've got uh, 24 here that I want to subtract. And the area is going to be 18 times 12 minus um, 6 times 4 or 4 times 6. Actually, like you could work this out, but with a little rejigging, we can do it even easier. 18 times 12, I can double the 18 to 36 and have the 12 to 6. So it's 36 lots of 6 minus 4 lots of 6. And that's going to be 32 lots of 6, which is quite easy to calculate, maybe a little bit easier than 18 times 12, for example. So 30 times 6 is 180. And 2 times 6 is 12, so we're going to get 192. Of course, you don't need to do what I just did there. You know, the main thing is getting to this point. But um, in any case, 192.